In this presentation, we're going to continue on with NumPy arrays. So previously, I just introduced a few uh, topics like uh, in, uh, types, for example, and just how to create an array from a tuple or a list. I'm going to use uh, uh, lists from now on, but you can do use tuples as well. But I just stick with lists from now on. So what I'm going to do is there. Uh, previously, I had a made some. Uh, single dimensional matrices for example I made this one here A okay but what I want to do now is make multiple uh, multi-dimensional uh, uh, arrays uh, 2 is going to be part of my multi-dimensional so uh, so two dimensional arrays and multi-dimensional which is to say three or more dimensions I'll just probably just stick with three so the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to set up a new array and I'm going to call this one F because E was the last one from the last presentation so NP array and that's the input there now what I'm going to do what's an extra R there so what I'm going to do here is I have to specify a list so I'm going to specify a list of uh, three items there and I'm going to specify another list uh, four six seven or set F76 okay now so I have two lists there uh, things looking okay so far what I want to do is actually create a 3x3 three three array okay, okay which is 3 by 3 rows 3 columns so I'll tell you what, I'll just put in another okay now let's see how this works so I have this is what I want to be the top row and by the way this is my I'm not that's the second row this is the third row okay so let's just run that Okay, so we have. I want to have three arrays, uh, three rows. Now, problem. Okay, so what do I have to do here? I actually have to specify it as a list of lists. Okay, so. Now, that worked. Let's have a look at F. Printf. By the way, I'm using printf just to have multiple outputs. Or print just have multiple outputs from the same cell. Okay, so this is important actually. I actually had to specify a list of lists to be able to construct a multi dimensional array. So that's quite important. So I have three little lists in inside here, and they all have the same dimensions. So I have this little list here, this list here, and this list here, and they're all in bound in square brackets and here what I'm doing is I'm making a list of lists so I have a square bracket here and a square bracket here outside those lists so it's a list of lists and essentially what MP array does it just turns that into a three dimensional array let's just see what happens if one list has different dimensions to the rest let's see what happens there we're gonna end up with an error or actually we don't it actually just doesn't recognize it as a uh, array basically and it just actually recognizes it as a list of lists so it doesn't actually uh, do anything here uh, let's just actually see what happens when we have a type there or type F whoops I went a bit too far though so print uh, type of F got an extra bracket there and see what happens here so I get an umpire array, but it's not actually the way I wanted it. It's not the. Uh, it doesn't have the dimensions I want. So uh, we can actually use some commands I learned earlier on. F dot ndim. Is ndim or ndims? Actually, I'm just going to check that myself because off the top of my head I forget that. There we are. Ndim. Yes, the number of dimensions, and see what happens there. It's a one-dimensional array. So it's actually not what I want, basically. So let's just check this back now. Put it back as it was before. Or well, three by three. There we go. Print. That means it's two dimensional now. So obviously you've seen there that it actually could work if, but it doesn't work well the way it's intended to work. Okay, it actually has it works, but in wrong in the wrong way. Okay, if they don't have consistent um, number of elements in each. Sub in each uh, sub list.
Okay, so uh, you can do multiple dimensional arrays from that. What I could do here is you have a list of list of lists, which is a bit of a tongue twister. I'm going to call this G. Okay. Actually, first off, before I go into that, let's have just a quick look at the shape. There we go. Let's just actually go back here one second and go back to my wrong list and see what happens there. Okay, so my wrong array. So it actually just treats it as a list of lists. So it's not uh, not what we're going for this time around. Actually, it does make sense, but I want simple multi-dimensional arrays this time around. Now, G. So we're going to have that there. Sorry, that's the uh, just copy and paste that in. So we have one list here, and this is one three by three array. Okay. And um, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do two copies of the same thing but what I have to do here is I have to put uh, another pair uh, set of brackets outside okay square brackets now that worked fine and uh, let's have a look at G here so we have the array for the first the first dimension and the second dimension I'm just going to change the number here just to sort of jig things around a bit so that's the 3 by 3 in the first dimension and that's 3 by 3 in the second dimension or well if in, in the but it's, it's a multi-dimensional array so it's 3 it's a, what's, let's get the shape of that actually so and t let's see what I'm talking about rather than me trying to sort of fluff, uh, fluff my lines I, it's a two by three by three array so that's a multi-dimensional array and that's to say that there are three dimensions in this there we go so that's how you make a uh, construct a two-dimensional uh, uh, three-dimensional array by the way I'm using lists but actually you can do the same thing for uh, you can use tuples as well actually yeah, I, I just the exact same way as far, uh, as, far as I know Let's just check my book here. Actually, yeah, as far as I know, you can use the exact same way. Now, that's two and three dimensional arrays. Now, what I'm quickly going to do here is actually I'm going to quickly talk about indexing. So I'm going to go back to A here. Okay, and so we have five elements in A. Now, A is is a Python and NumPy particularly are zero index language languages. That is to say that uh, the first item. The first index is the number zero. The second index is the number one. So here I picked out the zero index zero element of A, and that's one. That's the first one. That's this one here. Okay. The second one will have index one. Okay. Here it's going to be two. Okay. And likewise the zero, one, two, three, four. The last element for this one is six. Okay, so it's zero index in language, and that's just how you pick out the uh, particular elements of an array. Uh, you can do that for multi-dimensional arrays as well. Just specify two values here. So let's look at f again. Go back to f. So let's say we want to pick out five. That would be first row and the last and the third column so the first row has index so square brackets the first row has in the uh, you put in the row first okay I'm looking for this value here there to pick out this value here so and then the third column so the third column has index 2 so that should give us the 5 there we go likewise if we want this 3 down here that would be the index 2 for the row and 0 for the column there we go that's how we just sort of pick the values out uh, you can do this as well I actually have like a, a, a ranges of values for example here you could pick out everything up to the second uh, uh, the uh, the row with index 2 okay everything up to but not including so what this will do, this is just a sort of slightly different matter, this will actually 
uh, printout one and four which is this value here so and this value here so it's the, the, the top two that one and that four there okay uh, there's a lot to do with uh, subsetting and sp uh, splicing and so on that I'll probably say for no next uh, presentation but ultimately actually the one key point that I want to get across here is how to do uh, basically the, the uh, first primer on indexing and the zero index and just to be careful of that okay so that's multi uh, multi-dimensional arrays and a bit about indexing